Hello everyone, my name is Joanna Dembitska, Communication Manager at Rockle Automation, and I have the great pleasure of welcoming Łukasz Zhukowski to our studio. Thank Welcome, you very Łukasz. Much for the invitation. We are very excited to have you. Łukasz is uh, Director of Export at Ratpack, and we are That's going correct. to talk about operational flexibility today. So let's get on with it. Let's. How can embracing flexibility help packaging companies reduce their lead times? Well, there is no one method. There is no one good answer to that question. Uh, I would say the main, ish the main thing that you want to have at the back of your head is engineering. Uh, you need to think outside the box these days. Uh, you need to provide the tailor-made solution to the customers, the, the thing that they're looking for, not the thing that you actually want to sell. Uh, this is something that has been very much uh, visible in the trends on the market for the past five or ten years. Uh, the times of having shelf solutions are over. Now we are looking at tailor-made solution to the customers, um, taking into consideration the, the capital they have, the space they have, the speeds they're looking for, the quality, the, all the systems that need to be put behind this. So I would say engineering and having an open mind to the project is the key of flexibility. And then lead times uh, will benefit from that because you're not wasting time during the project of retrofitting and re-engineering things that you have uh, on the shelf. You're actually spending good quality time and value on engineering before you make the first cut in the metal and start building the machine. Thank you. And yes, uh, production uh, facilities want to avoid waste at all costs, which leads me to my next question. Right. In what way does flexibility help them make the most out of their plant floor environment so that that waste is reduced to the minimum? Right. Well, uh, in projects of uh, rather greater magnitude, there are three things that people always ask. The lead time, the money, and the space. <laughs> and these are the three things that you need to think about when you uh, start a project. Obviously, uh, the production facilities are not made out of rubber. So you have the space that is given to you and the companies are looking obviously for squeezing as much productivity out of that space as possible. So flexibility in terms of a uh, speed, B, format, C, uh, easy changeovers. This is a very big thing for anybody who is uh, in you know, industrial production. Uh, you cannot um, build machines for single formats anymore. You cannot build machines that do only one job. You have to think uh, about uh, multifunction machines and as easy and oper operator friendly as possible because then uh, the return on investment will get get you there with the smallest square footage of views that you that you can possibly imagine and as you mentioned around those versatile machines how do they benefit the overall return on the investment um, the benefit is that you don't uh, spend too much capital on various machines doing almost similar almost identical jobs or similar enough that you can handle it with one machine that's one thing and the second thing is obviously you have the better offer to the market to the end user to the uh, people who reach out for your product off the shelf in the supermarket because uh, a supermarket a can demand certain type of case and certain type of configuration and supermarket b will do exact opposite because why wouldn't they? Uh, and therefore, uh, getting a machine or a system or a line that can handle as many customers as possible obviously increases your return on investment. And it's clear that there is a lot of insights that you're sharing. And I'm curious, how can Ratpack and Rockwell Automation support packaging companies to balance flexibility with uh, capital expenditure? Uh, flexibility uh, comes within engineering. We have got a great team of engineers working with Rockwell Automation and finding the right solution to the right customers, to the right capital. So all those things take, uh, take into consideration actually produce the value to the customer that they're looking for. This is, this is the budget that I have. This is the thing that I want to get. And if we work together and actually, again, think outside the box and try to you know uh, expand our point of view a little bit, then we find the solution to the customer. And that's, that's what it is. Rockwell Automation brings us the good product and the good solution, and we uh, re-engineer engineer around it to give the best solution to the end user. Thank you. And uh, where does sustainability fit into all of this? Um, how do customers balance uh, that alongside flexibility? Right. Well, the flexibility is one thing, but the 
the trend that we are seeing right now, the big word in the business is sustainability. Flexibility has been and still is the big name, but the even bigger word I would say is sustainability. So um, having the turnkey solution with the material, for example, packaging material in my business, so either the uh, films or the corrugated or the cardboard that you're using uh, that has been reasonably sourced and responsibly sourced uh, is one thing. Because and why d why the companies need that? Because the customers are more and more aware of sustainability, of their impact on environment. And second of all, well, let's face it, we live in the EU region here and EU imposes stricter and stricter uh, rules on what you can put on the market. The, um, the plastic pack that has been uh, joined by the US, the Netherlands, France, Portugal, Poland and more and more countries are getting involved into that uh, shows us that you know plastic is okay but let's think about something different. And this is something that needs to be taken into consideration because the customer will want that, the supermarkets will want that, the EU will want that, the world wants less waste. Thank you so much, Lukas, for sharing your experience you. and uh, insights. And thank you for watching. If you're interested to learn more about flexible operations and sustainability, visit our website, www.rockwellautomation.com.